Spencer G. So yeah. Looks like we're gonna. You can start now. Zero and Spencer. Yeah, we're just gonna start this now. So we can just gonna go yep. Ness. Probably not the best matchup for Ness. No, I mean it's Midnight versus anybody that's not Ice Climbers, yeah. essentially. Yeah. <laughs> um, My guess is he'll go Allmark game too. Okay. See it's not goes. the best matchup for Ness, however, compared to like especially a lot of the, like the mid tier characters against Meta Knight. Ness is probably one of the better ones, especially seen with a successful players like Bo, who's uh, yeah. not too far from here in Nevada. Yeah, he was actually at uh, Saltfest. He won Saltfest. Very yeah. cool. Came in the tree talk there. Kind of guy. Did you ever watch the match of Bo against Vinny at Apex? Yes. Oh, that was like ultimate. That's my favorite. Ice Climbers match I've ever seen. Vinny or, was, uh, or the Ice Climbers win. I think Foe was trash talking him. I don't know exactly what the backstory was. Yeah. He wasn't the happiest with him. So Vinny purposely was doing like the timeout chain grab. Yeah, so was. like the grab release. Yes. Yeah, that's going to be a game pool. Yep. Looking like a quick three second this point. Yeah. So if you guys go YouTube, Vinny versus Foe, F-O-W, it's like, yep. and while in the chain grab, Foe gets out of his seat and starts like telling the crowd to make noise. Uh. So Ness was able to recover there, not bad, but then grab release. So one of the biggest problems with Ness and Lucas in this game are that yeah. they're both very, very prone to uh, getting chain grab released. So that means if Zero's going to pummel, if the character breaks out mid-pummel animation by a character, they're automatically ground released. Yeah. And Ness and Lucas take extra lag, and the advantage that Menelik gets from that is that he's able to re-dash grab. So it doesn't add that much damage if you're just grab attacking them and actually throwing them. But what it does is it gives you control of the game. It's going to put them at the ledge where they can just be easily edge guard like Hero did. Yeah, it makes it so that, I mean, in reality, it just destroys them in certain matchups. Marth can literally yeah. grab, release, grab. Yep. And it's just... Without you know, moving. <laughs> yeah, so you just hold R and hit A as fast as you can. And it's good game. I think Charizard might be able to do the same thing if not very close to what Marth oh, yeah. can do. Like with Without even moving the three grab. Yeah, that's just a brawl thing. There's yeah. lots of characters who just, through kind of gimmicky, weird stuff, kind of get destroyed. Fox is another one who, frankly, is not a terrible character. Yeah. But, like. He's like, like the merge, like, like the verge of like mid and high tier. But if he has ever allowed in a major tournament, he's like, everybody watch out. Ooh, oh, is he like gets a stock? Thunder? There's a PK Thunder. SD's in the process, though. Oh, plenty SD's. So it's a one stock lead. Mm hmm. Um, I wonder what, why he picked this stage necessarily, because I feel like why would you add the random chance of the support ghost or the, uh, yeah. the shy guys messing up your up? Probably just like hasn't experienced that too much. Also, uh, the balloon on Nashville, yeah. Smashville can get you. That's the most frustrating Yep. One. I used to make Lucas. Ooh, yeah. it goes with suicide it's fine. He's like... Quick game. That was a good game. Since I'm not even sure which setup I'm on, I might... Just play on stream. <laughs> yeah, I'd say go for it. Right, you know 